Hello Altos, my name is Jeff Rolka. I want to thank you for checking out my video. If you've watched my other Alto range videos, you know that I am a fond, fond appreciator, if that's a word, of the Alto range vocalist. And it's not just the rarity of the instrument that you are in possession of, it is the unique tonal characteristics that you have access to. And so I want to talk about your superpower for just a brief little period here in somewhat of a divergence from what you might typically find on my channel. I want to thank you if you've chosen to subscribe and if you haven't yet, I hope that you'll choose to do so now and do ring the bell so that you can become aware immediately upon the release of new videos of mine, which are typically warm-ups and things like that to help you sing and all that. But I was thinking about the alto range instrument and this area that you have that is so different from every other vocal fock and this is this range from around D3 and in truth probably all the way out to the uh, G4 in fact because of the way that your voices work you will encounter very little, if any, sort of registration events in that octave and a fourth space, whereas virtually every other fock or vocal range designation, such as like a baritone, a tenor, a soprano, or mezzo, is going to encounter some type of registration event when you start to get to a range, a tessitura of a melody that expands more than an octave. So you've got these amazing sultry low tones, which if you've ever heard a bass flute, which is kind of crazy because they kind of hook around and then they go out, there is a, a, a unbelievable beauty to that sound that I feel is present in the alto range vocalist. It, you can hear the... the 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 lilting quality of it and yet there's this depth of tone uh, that is so fantastic you've got that and unlike all of the other fox you have this expansive tessitura that is effectively uninterrupted now you pay for it a little bit when you do get to the transition point going from lower middle voice to upper middle voice it's a little bit more challenging for the alto than it typically is for the mezzos and the sopranos. But I would suggest to you, well worth the price of admission. And I, and I, and I guess I ought to be really, really forthright here. Now, there is, a, there is a transition into the lower middle voice that's in that space, but it is typically sung past without much... Uh, if any notice. And because of the way the voice functions, that transition from lower middle voice to upper middle voice is much more significant, which is still another major second away around uh, A4, B4 in that general vicinity. Variants are going to happen. Everyone's instrument's a little bit different. And so I talk about this to suggest to you that you capitalize on that tessitura of your voice. This is great for singing popular music because so many melodies of popular songs fit right into that range. And even if they're gonna go a little higher than that, you only need learn to make that transition across the transition from lower middle to upper middle to then be able to access that additional range. Now there's a challenge that I haven't yet spoken about in all of this, and that is that since these other transi transition points are typically so seamless, those, those upper transitions, when you go from lower middle to upper middle, that transition, as well as the secondo passaggio, which is typically around D5 for the alto voice, can be quite challenging. Frequently, that transition from lower middle to upper middle is mistaken for the secondo passaggio. And so, because of that, frequently, the range above that does not get developed. But, oh, if you do, if you do develop that range, wow, what do you get? But you get this amazing overall tessitura that is truly something fantastic. So, altos, it's, it should be obvious if it's not... I am a big fan of the alto range vocalist and the tessitura that it typically spans. 
you don't have to do anything to it, but use what you've got. But if you do develop it, it really opens up an incredible amount of range and variety of repertoire should you choose to do so. But even the range that you come kind of equipped with up to that upper middle voice transition point is so useful in the popular genres and so fantastic and so lovely in the lower end. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this is helpful or perhaps just thoughtful. Tell me what you think. These are largely my opinions. I'm just sort of talking out loud and thinking about how I can appreciate the alto range vocalist. Let me know what you think. Um, you can leave a comment or you can find me on Twitter. My name is Jeff. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing and hopefully we'll see you again. Bye.